In Python, you can print stuff to the terminal, and if you're using JavaScript, you can print stuff to the browser console. This is a useful thing to do when you're debugging your code. In Foundry, you can do the same using console.log. So in this video, I'll go over an example of console logging the counter contract, and I'll also console log inside a test and show you logging int. Here I have a counter contract and let's say that I wanted to print something to the terminal when we run the test and when we call the function inc. So to do that first we'll need to import the console. So here I'll type import forge std slash console dot soul. Now this is a feature only available for testing so make sure you remove this code when you're deploying your contract. To console log something inside the test we're going to be console logging something inside when the function inc is called. What we need to do is type console.log and then followed by whatever you want to print to the terminal. For example, let's say I'll type the message here and maybe I'll also console log the current value for the state variable count. So here I'll type count. Save the file and let's execute the test for the counter contract and we'll be able to see this message inside our terminal. So click on the counter test file and then we'll open the terminal and then we'll execute the test for counter so that will be forge test dash dash match path test slash counter dot t dot so and to print the console logs we also need to put in dash vv execute the test and you can see that it logged our message here the count is zero and then here the count is one and again, when the test inc executed inc inside the counter contract, it logged here and then zero. So this was an example of how to use console when you're testing your code. Before you deploy the contract, make sure you remove all of the code that's logging. So remove console log and also remove the import for console.sol. You can also console log inside your test contract. So for example, here I have a console.t.sol. And let's say that I wanted to log something inside the test. Here I have a function called test log something. This function will be executed by Foundry when we run the test. And it's going to log log something here with the message 1 to 3. Let's run this. So I'll open the terminal again. Clear the logs. And type forge test match path. The name of this file is called console.t.sol. So I'll change this to console.t.sol. And then execute this command. And you can see here that when the test function test log something was called, it logged the message log something here with the value 1 to 3. For more details on what values you can log with the console log, if you're using VS Code, you can type F12 and this will take you to the actual code of console.sol and you can see all of the variations for the messages that it can log. However, it cannot log int. Console.log cannot print int and what you'll need to use is a specialized function so I'm gonna go all the way up and I'm looking for a function called log int. If you wanted to log int then you'll need to call this function. So let me show you. Going back to console.t.sol let's say that I have an int say x equals minus 1 and I wanted to log this. What I'm gonna try first is say console.log and then try to log x. But notice that I get this red squiggly line at the bottom and I'm getting a compilation error saying that the function log cannot log x since it is int. What I will need to do here is use the specialized function console log int. And then the error goes away. Okay, let's save the file and then run the test again. Open the terminal and then execute the same command again. And you can see here that it logged minus 1. So in this video, I showed you how to use console log to debug your code and test, and I also showed you how to log int. 